Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2011. So we are here with this problem 12 of your paper. This problem is actually a problem from linear algebra. So let us firstly have a look on this problem. So it says that let T such that Rn to Rn be a linear transformation where n is greater than or equal to 2 and k is less than or equal to n okay so k is a natural number which is less than or equal to n now they are defining this set e and set f both are the subset of rn so question is asking whether if e is linearly independent whether f is linearly independent or dependent and the same thing is for f if f is linearly independent then e is linearly independent or dependent so this is what your question is asking so what I think that you should do in your exam, you have to firstly think about counters. Okay. Uh, if you are good at proofs, so you can do that you know, initially, but if you are uh, better at counters, so I think you should uh, use counters first. Okay. So what I will do, I will tell you the best strategy to solve this in exam. And after that, we will prove the correct option also. So let us see your A option. A option says, if E is Li, okay, if E is Li, this will imply F is Li. This is what your uh, option says. Now what I will do, I will choose my transformation to be the zero transformation, okay. This zero vector is a vector of n tuple, okay. That's why I'm writing zero over here. Now you see, if you choose your set E to be a lie, image of every element which is inside of your uh, set E, okay, I should write dash 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 VK is equal to zero, right? That means your set F, okay, since you have taken a zero transformation, that means your set F is nothing else, it's a zero vector, right? Are you getting my point or not? Now, since it's a zero vector and you know zero vectors, the set containing zero vector is always a LD set. Therefore, F is LD. Okay. So what I have used that if, if a set consists of a zero vector, then it is always a linearly dependent set. So this is what I have done. So F is LD. So that means A is incorrect one. Right. Now let us come to your C option first. C option says if E is linearly independent, then F is linearly dependent, right? So for this matter, what I will do, I will choose my transformation to be the identity transformation. T of X vector is same as X vector. Now, since you have chosen the identity transformation, that means that, that, means that if you have chosen E is Li, okay, you have chosen E to be Li set. Now you know that since you have chosen identity transformation, that means F and E are exactly same because it's identity transformation. This will imply F is Li. Are you getting my point or not? So it's very easy to discard these options. Now let us come to D option. D option says if F is Li, if F is Li, then E is LD, right? Now choose, again choose the identity transformation. Are you getting my point? Choose identity transformation. Now since you have chosen identity transformation, therefore F and E has to be same, right? Now you have chosen your F to be a linearly independent set. That means E has to be a linearly independent set, right? So that means this, it cannot be linearly dependent. You got my point or not? So therefore, D is also incorrect. And we have also proved that C is incorrect. So this is how we can proceed. Okay. So by only taking two basic transformation, one is zero transformation. Second one is the identity transformation. We have discarded every option. So if you are, uh, if you are good enough in linear algebra, you can think this example in just five or six seconds. So it will not take more than one minute to do this question. Okay. Now what I should do, I should prove your B option is correct, right? 
so firstly what i will do i will mark these options incorrect 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 correct right so now let us proceed with b option so what it says f is what is given to you in the b option consider okay i am writing proof consider f is ally it is given to you you have to show that e is ally so what i will do i will assume that e is uh, f is ally it's given okay so i will assume e is linearly dependent okay e is linearly dependent i will assume that means there will exist some constant such that a1 v1 plus a2 v2 up to a k v k is equal to zero okay so for some a i non zero for some a i not equal to zero are you getting my point or not so if you have if you are saying that some set is ally then i am applying the definition for a ld set sorry not uh, ally ld you have said that e is ld that means this will this will be true because this is the definition for linearly dependent set now i will apply transformation both sides so what will happen so what will happen actually you know that image of zero is always zero in a case of transformation and here what you can do you can just write this thing okay so what i have done i have used the property of transformation a linear transformation this is how it works so you got a pair a, a set of constants such that for some ai non zero so this linear combination of tv1 tv2 up to tvk is zero and some of them one of one of them ai is non zero right so this is the definition for a ld set so from here what you can conclude that f is ld so this is a contradiction right because you have chosen initially that f is uh, ally set that means where is the problem problem is in this assumption right so therefore e will be a linearly independent set so this is a very easy proof not that much difficult that's why i was saying earlier that if you are good on proofs you can easily think of this also right so thank you